Dot.org. Okay. It's amazing that you brought this up because some of this stuff I actually wanted to question you about. And I was going to uh, start off with the exact same thing that you started off when, when you were being introduced. And that is the open pr provocations by NATO or the British uh, in the Black Sea, uh, ignoring multiple warnings by the Russian naval forces to turn around and do not enter Russian territorial waters. What do you think is actually going on? Because remember, America also did the exact same thing earlier. Well, this is a really stupid thing to do. I mean, the Russians are going to be on a hair trigger. They have the best military technology in the world, Rashid. They have the best uh, uh, anti-missile missiles. They have the best anti-ship missiles. They have the best anti-submarine torpedoes. These are virtually unstoppable. So that if the West provokes Russia, see, Russia didn't suffer from uh, contractors who want to enhance their profit margin by producing inferior military equipment so they get, they'll double their take or triple it on maintenance. Mm -hmm. Instead, the Russians, you know, have uh, tight budgets, but quality products, actually the best in the world. I can give you some stories here about what's going on. Russia says it moved to deter a British destroyer, but UK challenges a claim saying, this is the initial story, Rashid, claiming it was conducting innocent passage through Ukrainian waters. But that doesn't appear to be the case at all. Russia says its forces fired warning shots and dropped bombs to deter a British Royal Navy destroyer uh, accusing the ship of entering the waters of the Black Sea. According to the Russian defense minister, the HMS Defender, the British ship, was given a preliminary warning that weapons would be used if the state borders of the Russian Federation were violated. It did not react to the warning. The incident reportedly took place off the coast of Cape Violent on Crimea, which Russia acquired through an international referendum from Ukraine in 2014. The defender ventured as much as two miles inside the border where a patrol ship fired a warning shot while an Su-24 dropped four bombs in the path of the defender, prompting the ship to change course and reverse. But now we have a BBC journalist. We have a BBC journalist aboard the ship saying the vessel made a deliberate move in passing through Russian waters to make a point. Now, Rashid, this is idiocy. The state broadcast defense correspondent, Jonathan Beal, noted the ship's crew heard shots, but they were believed to be out of range. In an audio report, he revealed the ship purposely moved into the waters near Crimea within 12 miles of the coast through what the British called a recognized international shipping lane. The transit through Russian waters took over an hour. The Russian Coast Guard, I have warned the ship not to go into Crimean territorial waters, claiming they are Russian waters. Britain, however, does not claim the peninsula recognize the peninsula as Russian, but Ukrainian. This is all very, very bad. Moscow's view of the incident has been contradicted by uh, London, which claims that no warning shots were fired at the defender, that the ship was simply conducting innocent passage. But listen, I'm telling you, that looks completely wrong. Here's a second article. British destroyer purposely crossed into Crimea's territorial waters. Russia says it dropped warning bombs. The UK Minister of Defense has admitted it sailed through Ukrainian waters on purpose. 
Now, here's what's most important an editor's note to this article, Rashid. Unclear if warning shots were actually fired and warning b bombs dropped. There's no footage for the bombs. Firing can be heard, but the official British story is that the Russians were conducting gunnery exercises nearby. In any case, that's not the important thing. The important thing is that the British Navy intentionally sailed into Crimea's territorial waters, disputing Russia's claim to the peninsula with a military asset. Imagine the Russian Navy sailing into the territorial waters of the Falkland Islands to make a point of recognizing Argentina's claim to the islands, but not the British. The British Minister of Defense claims innocent passage, but that is total nonsense. Innocent passage is for when an equally convenient route outside the territorial waters does not exist. You do not cross into territorial waters for no reason whatsoever. Besides, there is nothing innocent about a warship of a hostile military bloc, meaning NATO, sailing into your waters to dispute your claim to your territory. The, the Russians have summoned the, the British uh, uh, envoy in Russia to explain what's going on here. And, but Rashid, this is such an obvious provocation. It's so clearly improper. My inference is since it was done deliberately, it's intended as a distraction from a planned US-UK Israeli attack on Iran. That's what I believe is going on. Also. Uh, Otherwise, this is colossally stupid, and I don't believe they're doing something that's colossally stupid. I believe they're doing something that is distracting, and I'll, I'll elaborate on this momentarily.